6. Lockheed C-130 Hercules On November 16, 2017, one of the newest additions to the marine park in Aqaba, Jordan was sunk, and divers have taken a liking to it. It was scuttled after a large ceremony sponsored by ASEZA, or the Aqaba Special Economic Zone Authority, and was captured by the members of the international media. The Hercules plane sank 984 feet from the beach and 55 feet underwater. All potentially dangerous materials, like fuel, oil, and paint, were removed. The basic structure transformed into an artificial reef and attracted fish and corals. It created a unique new habitat for a variety of species found in Aqaba. The Royal Jordanian Air Force donated the four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft called the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. Since the 1950s, the plane has been the primary tactical airlifter for armed forces in over 70 countries worldwide. As Aqaba's main dive site, it will eventually draw divers from all kinds of backgrounds. The Hercules is a beautiful sight, measuring 98 feet in length and 131 feet in wingspan. The location is only susceptible to slight currents, and the high visibility in the Red Sea makes it easier to dive in the wreck. This makes it almost always visible from the surface. The Hercules is unquestionably a very massive aircraft, despite its modest nose cone and cockpit. The plane's fuselage is taller than it is wide, and even though the aircraft's engines and propellers were taken out to ensure safe sinking, the vast wingspan and empty engine cowlings provide an impressive idea of the force the aircraft had in operation. Although it was never the plan, the C-130 Hercules wreck in Aqaba has deliberately been made accessible. Divers of all skill levels and ages may take part in this family-friendly tour as they take a look into the historic wreck. 5. Underwater Drones Three drones used to smuggle drugs underwater across the sea from Morocco have been seized by Spanish police. The submersibles were unmanned and were able to carry over 441 pounds of cargo. Eight people were arrested after a 14-month investigation in Barcelona, Malaga, and Cadiz. According to police, they have dismantled a group that they believe built the cars and gave them to drug smugglers operating across Europe. Spanish authorities say this is the first time they've found an underwater vehicle that can be driven without a human operating it. These gadgets could enable drug traffickers to remotely transport significant amounts of drugs over the Strait of Gibraltar, the narrow body of water dividing Spain from Morocco. Two other submarines were being manufactured, while one had already been completed. The pair that was being built are thought to have been given to a French gang for importing cocaine. Drug traffickers could theoretically control the vehicles from anywhere in the world with an internet-enabled device as basic as a tablet since they're equipped with GPS navigation systems. A father and son were among those detained. According to police, the father was a licensed helicopter pilot. They claim he had the technical knowledge required to construct and operate such advanced vehicles. The gang was suspected of delivering the devices to criminal organizations in Denmark, Italy, France, and Spain. According to officials, they were experts in engineering a variety of air, land, and sea vehicles intended to carry narcotics. Investigators have previously discovered vehicles meant for narcotics transportation beneath the water. Earlier this year, a semi-submersible ship was traveling to Central America. They were stopped, though, because they were carrying four kilos of cocaine. 4. Sunken Florida Vehicles In the canals and lakes of southern Florida, eerie submerged vehicles wait, sometimes for decades, hiding the remains of lives that were lost. These wrecks are uncommon, but data suggests that they seem to happen more often on dry rural roads. 168 people died in collisions involving water between 2011 and 2016. According to statistics from the Florida Department of Transportation, around 25% of the incidents involved people who were drunk or driving recklessly. Out of the deaths in the waterways, 29 happened in Palm Beach County, 25 in Broward County, and 8 in Miami-Dade County. 
After Surya Sari Prihatin disappeared in 2010, her husband Munawar Toha appeared on TV, begging her to come home for him and their two children. Coincidentally, at the same time, police were pulling the couple's car from the lake next to Toha's job. Surya's body was found dead inside. Her husband is now serving a life sentence for the murder of his wife. During the trial, video evidence showed him pushing the vehicle he and his wife shared into the lake. In September 2017, just days before Hurricane Irma hit, the Boca Rio Canal revealed a Toyota RAV4 SUV. Lorraine Pino, 47, was found inside it. She used to live by the canal. On that same day, five other vehicles were uncovered. Pino was a loving grandma who served the underprivileged community and donated money to good causes. She had disappeared on December 19, 2016. Her DNA was verified by the Palm Beach County Medical Examiner's Office. The Broward Sheriff's Dive Rescue Team pulled 23 vehicles out of lakes and canals in 2017 and 19 vehicles in 2018. Most of them were empty with no human remains. The Davie Police Department estimates that each year they remove about 15 vehicles from Southwest ranches and the town's waterways, where they also carry out patrols. In 2017, Boca Raton police divers recovered five vehicles, and two were recovered in 2018. Not every wreck is the result of a collision. Some were stolen, others happened because of simple mistakes. According to Brett Holcomb of Westway Towing, when drivers are inexperienced, their trucks follow their boats into the water, resulting in frequent calls for help coming from the boat ramps. His company pulls about 15 to 20 cars from the water. The sheriff deputy says that 50 cars or less are sitting in the waters of Broward County. That number is constantly changing because they're being dumped in the water almost every day. And there are possibly many more undetected vehicles in places where sonar searches are impossible. Why do you think so many cars were sunk in Florida? Let us know in the comments. 3. World War II Era Amphibious Truck an Italian organization claims that a U.S. military amphibious truck from World War II has been found near Lake Garda in Italy. On April 29, 1945, troops from the 10th Mountain Division of the United States Army crossed Italy's biggest lake while trying to seize Benito Mussolini's mansion, which was in charge of the Italian Social Republic from Lake Garda's western bank. Until the final week of the war, the division fought the Germans in northern Italy. Four DUKW designated amphibious vehicles, sometimes called ducks by GIs, were traveling from Torbol to the northern end of Lake Garda when a storm suddenly developed. One of the trucks was flooded with water. The lone survivor was a soldier who had once worked as a lifeguard in the civilian world. The other 23 soldiers were labeled MIA. The four cars were part of an advanced force for Allied soldiers traveling to Riva del Garda, which was controlled by the Germans. The teams drove farther into the lake than they normally needed to because they feared snipers. They were unaware that the Germans had already fled the site. On December 10, 2012, the Voluntary Association of Lake Garda published video footage taken underwater of the rusting vehicle that had been found using sonar senses and a tiny unmanned underwater vessel meant for deep sea research. These amphibious vehicles, or ducks, can float in the water or drive on land. To carry supplies and troops during World War II, over 20,000 were created. To help the Allies in winning the war, they were also utilized in beach assaults. The rusting duck was found 600 feet below the lake's surface. There was hope that the missing servicemen's remains would finally be found and taken back to the United States, but despite a thorough search, no tangible remnants of the soldiers were found. 2. Sunken World War II Barge The Po, Italy's biggest river, is currently so low that a sunken World War II ship is protruding out from the water. The barge, known as the Zibello, delivered supplies during the war before sinking to the bottom of the river close to the town of Gualtieri in 1943. In the past, the Po's water levels were at a point where the ship's bow could be seen. Now that northern Italy is experiencing a record-breaking drought, more of the 164-foot-long yacht can be seen. 
The river has not seen a drought like this in over 70 years. It's reported that temperatures in northern Italy are 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, above average, and that there hasn't been any rain in over 110 days. Additionally, the area received 70% less snowfall than usual throughout the winter. These and other variables have resulted in the Po's water levels and flow rates being well below average for June 2022. In certain places, there's so little water that it's possible to cross the river on foot. The water travels 405 miles, from the mountainous Alps to the Adriatic Sea. For farmers and ranchers who grow tomatoes or make Parmesan cheese, the river provides the necessary water. The region, also known as the Valley of Italian Food, accounts for roughly 40% of Italian cuisine. Farmers already anticipate smaller harvests this year due to the lack of water for irrigation. The many hydroelectric power facilities that depend on water from the Po to generate electricity could also be in danger because of the drought. The Po and its tributaries provide about 55% of the hydroelectric energy used in Italy. The drought is also revealing more historical artifacts that the water has long kept concealed, in addition to the Zibello Barge. In March 2022, a long-lost tank that German forces drove into the ocean in 1945 was found in Surmide by a volunteer who noticed metal poking out of the sand. The Guardian reported that in Piedmont, the remains of an old village have also re-emerged drought in other parts of the world has uncovered a town in Spain and a 3,400-year-old town in Iraq. With water levels decreasing everywhere, who knows what else will pop up? 1. Lake Como's Hidden World One of the most beautiful lakes in the world is found an hour north of Milan, nestled between the Italian and Swiss Alps. The well-known Lake Como is thought to be the deepest lake in Italy, reaching 1,394 feet deep. In addition to the gorgeous mansions, celebrities, and breathtaking vistas, Lake Como offers much more. One of the most astonishing collections of historically preserved objects in the world can be found by diving into the deep, icy waters. There are several wrecks scattered across the lake, including steamships, boats, motorbikes, World War II tanks, armaments, unexploded bombs, seaplanes, and a fairly big vehicle graveyard. The extensive collection of sunken boats, gondolas, and even a steamer is the source of awe for many divers. A Mini, Renault 4, Volkswagen Passat, Fiat 500, Jaguar, Piaggio, Fantic Isimo, and Land Cruiser are among some of the automobiles in the museum. There's also a rumor of a church in Leno that flooded in the year 1400, close to the Golfo di Venere. A holy water shrine was recovered from the depths in 2006, with a tiled floor and steps. A little site named Moregolo in the Lecco region is a particularly deep diving spot, with a 164-foot vertical drop that has been used to sink many cars. The first vehicles rest at a depth of roughly 131 to 157 feet due to the drop. So in order to visit one, you have to be a trained diver. In the past, the lake was used to hide artifacts, which had an adverse environmental impact in some areas. Due to the wide appeal, Moregolo, according to cave expert and speleologist Luigi Cassetti, is the greatest place to dive in Lake Como. Many divers come every week from all corners to investigate the area's chilly waters, where 50 cars have been identified so far, particularly at depths of less than 131 feet. Other vehicles, like a BMW 525 and a Fiat 124 Coupe Alpha Sprint Veloce, have also been found on the lake's opposite coast, close to Durvio and Melgon. A World War II-era military hardware and weaponry museum at Olsio, which is close to Moragallo, is there as well. An Italian battle tank is almost entirely covered in the muck of the lake bed, along with bullets, bombs, and cannons. In addition to the sunken vehicles and motorbikes in this lake, high-depth divers will find incredible stone walls, that descend to the bottom of the lake. There have been several different items found near the Moregalo sunken cars, including a yacht, speedboats, an ape crucifix, and many more. Thanks for watching! Would you ever dive to see these wrecks? Let us know what you think in the comments below. 
and don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos. We'll see you next time.